Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Well, we are here today to review a new foundation from Estee Lauder. If you're an old subscriber, you will probably know that I'm obsessed with Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's one of my favorite foundations. And Estee Lauder Double Wear actually launched a new foundation that is called Double Wear Maximum Cover. And we're going to review it today. I also did find in my stash that I have this other one, Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup. You can see that. Uh, I haven't reviewed this one yet, so that's going on. This has 45 SPF and this one has 50 SPF. So we're going to try it today. So if you want to see what I think about it, how it's going to wear the whole day on combination oily skin, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I did moisturize my skin because it was a little bit dry. We are going to go in with Hydra Grip Primer Milk. I just use this one every time when I review new foundations. Just something that I know how it works. And hopefully my nose is going to take this foundation today because lately my nose has not been really wanting to cooperate with me and make a bit more stick. This says that it's camouflage makeup and it has 15 SPF, 24 hours st staying power, smoothing, natural looking liquid cream makeup. Can it be used camouflage to camouflage scars, birthmarks, sunspots, spider web, spider veins, and tattoos? Help pro protect with SPF 50 waterproof. Oh wow! Sounds like magic to my ears. I love the packaging, so nice and cheap. Kind of looks expensive. I washed all of my brushes yesterday, but I think this one is to try the Twiki use and try it with a brush too. I'm still having problem with my health. We're going to shake it. This amount, and I kind of looks thick, not thick, thick foundation, but a thicker foundation. Okay. Let's try to. Oh, this is too. I I took too much. Ooh. I can do my whole body with this. So much I took. Always on it. Okay, let's see with the brush. Usually I'm a sponge girl, but like this brush. Oh, definitely full coverage. It feels light. Matte. I love how it goes on with the brush. Very smooth. I do have hair on my hand. Very smooth. No streaks, nothing. Uh, I can still see some imperfection, but I think you can, of course, build it up. Okay, let's go with the sponge on the other side and see how it's going on. I usually like sponge because for me it's, I don't know, it just feels faster. You definitely don't need this much. It goes on nice with the sponge too, but I feel like the brush kind of to pop it in works a little bit better. Like I said, this part of my nose doesn't matter what foundation I'm using, just don't want to stick. And I did explain this morning. Just because I knew that I will use a full coverage foundation, it definitely covers everything. This is this is full coverage, and I love the color. I didn't I don't know if I said, but it's two and one, and I I wow, definitely full coverage, and it looks like my skin. Let me just go a little bit closer. I mean, it's there, but it looks good. It looks good. I like how it looks on my skin. Full coverage, but it doesn't look cakey or heavy. I like that. 
we're going to use Anastasia's um, Magic Touch Concealer, and this is in shade 3. I like using a lot of concealer, but this is full coverage foundation, so I don't know if I need that much. So we'll go in, in with a little bit. So this is blending on really nice. This concealer is blending on really nice. Now I can see in my monitor that my battery is going to die and I don't understand why because I thought that I charged my cam, my what's called battery because I wanted to film today a lot and um, looks like it's not. So it's right now 10 in the morning, 10 a.m. and this foundation looks good. So I will do check-ins and I will set it a little bit with some powder. I'm going to set it a little bit with this Nutcracker powder. I'm just going to use a little bit of the under the eyes and I'm going to finish my makeup and I'll be back. I'm going to go and charge this battery again and I will be back with my full face of makeup to do check-ins during the day because so far this looks really good. I'm loving how foundation looks on my skin. This foundation looks really, really good so far. So I'm going to go and finish my makeup, try to charge the battery again. And I have to say, so far, I'm loving it. I reviewed this foundation yesterday and you can hear my thoughts about it. I did watch other videos. People use it less than I did, so I will try it again because it was good, but not really my favorite. But the Estee Lauder Double, this doesn't move doesn't go anywhere and I do have mature skin and I do have combination skin I don't know how you're going to like it if you have dry skin because this is a dry foundation and probably will dry out my skin if I use it every day but so far I'm loving how it looks feels nice it's not moving and um, okay I'm going to finish my makeup See you soon. Okay guys, so um, I'm back. I've been having this foundation on for around, I want to say, it was 10 when I applied it, so I had it on for, it's now three, so five hours. And I didn't touch up, this is how it looks. I actually made lunch and ate some lunch and, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is still gone. Okay, so uh, I did a mistake when I, Played with makeup today, uh, was playing with my eye makeup. I actually um, had some fallout on my nose and I took my foundation brush and tried to, you know, just uh, stipple it away a little bit because I, my brush pow powder brush was wet because I washed all of my brushes yesterday. And I kind of made my nose look a little bit uneven and a little bit patchy because I was like stamping it. So if you apply this foundation, don't touch it. You know, don't go in again because it dries down. And my oils definitely came through. I do look shiny, uh, though I feel like it looks good. I mean, this is definitely full coverage. It's a good foundation. It's good foundation. Not, it's not something that will wear every day because I can't feel it, but feel when I look at myself very close. I can see that my nose uh, is still not even, but it feels like I can see in oils. I can see like if I touch my nose right now, the foundation is going to disappear. That's how I feel. And that's how it looks on my nose right now. But I like it. I mean, I like this and it, it's a nice foundation. Definitely full coverage. So if you're scared of full co coverage, you're not going to like this. Sorry guys, I'm going to find, um, use some powder and just try to powder away everything a little bit. I'm going to use this powder that I have, Velvet Pushy Powder from Nikia Joy Cosmetics. I had this for a really long time. Okay. Just to mattify a little bit. I mean, I didn't apply a lot of powder before when I did my makeup look, so maybe if you set it more with the powder, but I feel like that will just make everything look more heavier. So that took away some shyness. 
Oh no, smells nice. That took away some shyness, and yes, my my foundation on my nose is gone. Uh, on the tip of my nose. Like I was scared if I would go in with a beauty sponge or with a puff, I think I will remove more foundation than I did with the with the brush. So that's kind of strange. That's only happening on my nose. Everywhere else is spot spot on. It's beautiful. It really looks good. Uh, just my nose doesn't really for some reason don't want make foundation to stick there. Okay guys. Yeah, that was everything. Um I think this is a good foundation, but it's definitely full coverage. Like I said, if you don't like full coverage, I don't know if you're going to like this foundation. But for me, I really enjoy it and I will definitely wear it when I want my foundation to be full coverage. But I have to say that if I would choose, I would choose double wear. Stay uh, double wear. Because that one is more light, more liquidy, more, I don't know, just more my cup of tea. But I really like this foundation. I think it's a... It's a nice foundation, it's not bad. I like it. Um, yeah, that's everything. Let me know guys down below what you think about this video. Did you try this foundation? What's your favorite foundation of this year? Let me know down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, like this video and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.